Hi there, today I'm going to be showing you just a simple Java Swing maze game. Entirely just Java Swing, no other um, complicated uh, libraries and stuff like that. I am a very amateur coder, I've just about learned Java Swing. So the code isn't exactly optimal, but if you do have any questions, just let me know. So here's the executable file that I've made from that. It's quite a simple game. Look, this is a menu. I realize there's not many tutorials on menus in YouTube, but if you do need one on, on a menu like this, just definitely let me know. In fact, on anything, just let me know. So you, it's pretty simple menu. You've got two main game modes, a level editor, which I'll get to in a bit, and a play mode. And of course, you can activate some sounds, uh, music in this case. I'm going to get rid of it because I've heard it so many times. This, <laughs> imagine I've been developing this game and I've heard that song so many times. So okay, so I'm just going to a quick, quick more like let's go into easy. There's a few maps. First things you could do, you could go back to the menu. You can change the color of the square. Um, what else? Well, the game is very boring, very simple. It is a maze game. Well. You see, you know, this probably, I don't know if you could consider this as a maze game because you're not really trying to get anywhere other than just getting these diamonds. Um, of course, the game was meant to be a bit more exciting. So these, these, wait, let me just quickly try to get this before the timer runs out. Oh no, all right, so. What, the, what it is, I've just added two things is that I've added, um, so there you can see that can change. So I've added diamonds and I've added uh, clocks onto the map and all it is when you pick up diamonds you, you it shows you how much you're collecting and how much you need to collect and all you need to do is just <laughs> collect all the diamonds. Very lackluster I know, lackluster but I know once again I'm a very amateur coder and when you pick up these clocks you got a third chance of increasing the timer and two thirds chance of decreasing the timer or it might be the other way around i don't know so you just pick up the diamonds i know on this on this map you, you can't really pick up all the diamonds but that's besides the point let me just quickly go to level editor so i'm gonna just go to so let's let's look at that level that we we're just on there so you have the option to change it in this manner so when I left click, I'm uh, creating a path like this. And when I right click, I'm um, creating a wall. And as you can see over here, it says if I press the middle, if I uh, press the scroll wheel, I get the option to change what, what I'm placing down. In fact, this is meant to have an image here, but I kind of moved some files around. So there's some, there's some uh, images missing. But yeah, so let me just change that to something like a diamond. So now my left click is no longer placing a path, but rather I'm placing diamonds down. So I'm just going to place these one here, these ones there, and, and then I'm going to place a perk just after it. So just remember what I've done here. So I'm just going to go back to this map. So what I can do is save that as a new map. So I can say easy to because I've made this edit, or I could just replace the existing maps. So let's go to easy two, right? And look, as you can see, it's exactly what I've done earlier. And as you can see, the diamond counter has changed. I know not much to the game, but once again, I'm just showing you that this is possible as a very amateur coder using Java Swing and just, you know, really basic techniques. Um, so I'm just gonna show you one more thing quickly. You got your blank, you can get a blank map. Let me just get some path here. So you got your blank map, you can <laughs> let me just quickly create a path and put some diamonds at the end, I guess. There you go. So just let me put that test. And now I can just go to that test, and as you can see. I can do this, change flag color, oh, not flag, I mean the square color, and that's it. That's the game. You can quit the game like this. Here's the example of some of the codes. There's a few classes here. 
that's the left click assigner I'm, just, I'm not going to show you everything but if someone wants the source code to this just uh, let me know once again it's very messy code it's the first java swing project that i've ever done in my life so there you go